Hi guys! Welcome back to Wednesdays with Nia. I just wanted to say sorry about last week. I was honestly just super unprepared. But thank you all who reached out and asked if we were doing okay and who checked on us to see why we missed a vlog. We're going to do our best to make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay, so I'm really excited about today's vlog. I'm doing my first ever What's in My Bag. Here I've got my mahogany and gold Steve Madden purse. This is like my all-time favorite bag. My sister-in-law actually gave me this bag when she moved on to a new purse. So let's just open it up, dig in, and see what I've got in here. I'm gonna start with the main compartment in the middle, but first I've got to show you guys the pattern that is inside. I love it. There we go. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell, but it's a really nice chevron pattern, and as you see, a cute little gold zipper over there. The first thing we have is this cute little pouch. My sister-in-law crocheted this for me, and it's got an adorable bow on it. And so when you open it up, I've got little girly things inside. It's not a makeup bag. I don't carry a makeup bag in my purse. I usually just leave it in the console of the car. So inside of this, I actually have quite a few things. First, I've got my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer, pink chiffon, one of my favorite scents. Next, we have Benefit Benetint. This is the red color. And I like to carry this around with me just to touch up throughout the day to make sure I've got some color on my cheeks or my lips if I'm going somewhere nice or on a date with Sam. And I use this almost daily. Even when I don't wear makeup, I'll still put my Benetint on. Next, I've got Pucker Up Dragonfly Lip Balm. It's tinted and it also has shea butter in it, so it's just really awesome for your average I guess lip gloss. I prefer to just wear like balms and like the Benetint. So next inside my little pouch, I have my Travelo. And right now what I've got inside my Travelo is Burberry. I don't remember which line of Burberry it is, but I've got Burberry in here and it smells amazing. Sandy actually gave me this for my birthday last year. So next I've got a hair tie, a clip. I like to clip my hair up more than I wear it in ponytails. I'll just show you guys. It's super fast and easy when you're on the go or when you're busy at home and it still looks kind of cute. So I just take my clip, I wind my hair around in a little bun and I clip it up. Of course a bobby pin, especially for me because I like to do this braid on the side and I always have to pin up the opposite side with a bobby pin. Next is my favorite ever chapstick. It is Moisture Plus by Carmex and it comes in the cutest packaging. It's like gold and gray chevron and when you open it up it's like the perfect like applicator. I like it so much because it's just so smooth. And the last thing in my little girly pouch is another little travel size perfume. This one is called Hello by Harvey Prince. It's just a really light, airy, yet clean smell. And sometimes this is what I'm really in the mood for when I'm sprucing up while I'm out. Next, I've got a headband. You all know that I like to wear these in my hair often, so I like to keep a neutral color inside my bag for while I'm on the go in case I just decide to take my hair down, put my headband in, and fluff up the top a little bit. It's pretty easy to do. You just stick it on and you're good to go. Next, I've got extra clothes for the baby. Um, I don't carry a diaper bag anymore, so most of the typical diaper bag stuff is now inside of my purse. And you know, with a baby, extra clothes is a must. And look at this cute little onesie. I think I've got a pretty cute extra outfit picked out for while we're on the go, rad like dad. My nursing cover, and this is made by Carter's. My sister-in-law got this for me. It's perfect for nursing in public, but yet, remaining discreet. It just goes over your neck and it's got a thin wire right here that kind of opens up and you can see the baby. And it's a nice neutral print. I love it. It's lightweight. It's easy to just throw in your bag. It doesn't take up a lot of room. I actually have an empty bottle from earlier today. And on any given day that you see me, I will most likely have a used bottle inside my bag. Diapers! Huggies. Abram is in a size 4 and right now I only have 3 diapers left so I actually should probably restock this. I like to carry at least 7. I know that's a random number but I always try to make sure I've got like 7 to 10. To go along with the diapers I've got baby wipes and this is my cute little sock monkey case that my friend Jenna made for me. I've got my wallet 
which has your basic credit cards, driver's license, loose change, cash, that kind of boring stuff in there. It's very cute though, it's got a little owl on it and it says kindness matters. Yes it does. Sunscreen. You never know when you're gonna be out and decide to just stop at a park or a place to cool off or a friend's gonna randomly invite you out. So I like to keep sunscreen in all of my bags. A headband for Symphony for when we're out. If she takes hers out and I can't find it somewhere in the car or if we're rushing out the door and I forget to put something in her hair, I've got a pink Hello Kitty headband that kind of goes with all of her outfits. A baby toy. Got my paddle. I know all you haters are gonna say what you wanna say, but consistency is the key. Graduates little crunchies, baby snacks. I've also got beech nut baby food. Let's see, we recently took macaroni and beef with vegetables. As you can see, my purse serves for a lot of mommy purposes. Got my own snack in here. I often get hungry while I'm on the go and you can ask anyone, I'm pretty much a bottomless pit. I like to snack often. And so I've got a blueberry crisp cliff bar, which A, is good for energy, and B, will fill you up quickly. And it just tastes good. Got a snack for the princess, Hello Kitty fruit snacks. Lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is called Golden Magnolia Sun, and it smells like summertime. I love it. And last but not least, in the main compartment of my bag, I have got random puffs. <laughs> Welcome to mommyhood. So that was the main compartment of my bag. Now moving on to the little pockets on the inside. I've got three pockets in this purse. One main pocket and two small ones. In one of the side pockets, I keep Excedrin or Advil in case Sam gets a headache while we're out. Gotta take care of my honey. In the other small pouch of my purse, I keep some gum. Now, this is not only your average chewing gum, it does freshen your breath, but this is also a prize for Symphony when she has really good behavior every day. If she has good behavior all day long, I'll reward her and she loves chewing gum. My cell phone with this awesome cute cover from Mobile Mania. If you live in Lake City, you gotta check them out. Um, this stays in the largest little side pocket of my bag. Also, got my sunglasses. These came from New York City. Little poopy diaper bags because, let's face it, we don't want to put those stinky things down inside of our purse. And you don't always have a trash can, so I try to always make sure that I've got these little bags with me. I keep them randomly around the house in case my purse runs out. That I've always got like one more, like over there on that shelf. <laughs> and last but not least, what every woman needs to have in her purse is a pen, a pilot, these were like the popular pen when I was in junior high. I remember everyone wanted like these pilot ones because they were kind of like gel pens. There you have it guys. It's all emptied out for you. Hope you all enjoyed my very first what's in my bag video. I really had a lot of fun sharing with you guys the things that I take along with me in everyday life and it just kind of gives you guys a little bit of a closer look into who I am as a person. Just for fun, I would love for you guys to tell me the most random thing that you keep in your bags and I look forward to reading your comments. Bye guys! Hey guys! Welcome back to Wednesdays with Nia! How are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to be talking about traveling with kids. Fun stuff. Um, when we were first told that we were going to be flying to LA kind of last minute, I was a little bit nervous. I've never flown with either of the kids and we 